Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your old buddy George Jones over here at the Berg and Gun Range. I ain't shooting right now, but I'm going to keep these beer muffs on because it's about 35 degrees outside. You know, about wind a-howling like Nancy Pelosi fussing about her democracy being in danger. Well, we don't have a democracy. We have a representative republic. We don't have nothing that even, even looks like democracy. Oh, we do elect our officials to go and represent us in the seat of power. That's where democracy ends. Okay? And representative republic kicks in. We don't have a democracy. Anybody tells you do, lie. Hey, wait a minute. What are we doing here? Uh, hey, I got this old used gun. Uh, the old used gun today I got is a brand new gun that I just got. I'd wanted one for a while, and I wonder if I finally broke down and bought one. The Pieta 1873 Colt clone. Great Western II, they call it. Now, this is a five and a half inch or thereabouts, good old fashioned uh, John Wayne stagecoach style, where the uh, barrel comes out at the end of the ejector rod assembly. Now I've looked at this gun extensively and I did shoot it to make sure it wouldn't blow up. Um, it is a good old single action 1873 Colt variant. Uh, the screws are all in the same place. It is brass frame. I don't think they ever made a Colt in brass frame but you know there it is. Uh, in information on it is 1873 SA uh, Raphael Pieta made in Italy imported by KC LLC Harrodsburg well PA not Kentucky and uh, USA and then on the other barrel marking is simply 45 Colt this gun is a convertible so it came with a 45 ACP cylinder. So I got a dirty bird up down there, two of them as a matter of fact, and I'm going to, if I had a box of shells, I'd probably load this thing. That's what you get for using non-union people. Okay, that's what you get when you use non-union people on your set. This, bullets flying around when they're not supposed to. 45 long colt, I think this is like 200 grain berries. Director may have a counting issue as well. Five. Six. Five when you're carrying it. Six when you're shooting it for fun. Let it go down. Let it all the way down. Pull it back to the quarter cock position. You should be safe. At least that's what the book says. All right. Let's get her over here on the block and give her a try. See how it actually shoots. Let's shoot the bottom target, and let's shoot the top target with the ACP, with the long colt. Actually shooting uphill here. Oh, that's, that's, uh, oh, okay, try it again. That's seven yards. That gun shoots a little on the low side. Of course, here's the deal. This gun ain't been shot 18 times, and it's like, you know. It's a cannon, buddy. All right.
single rotation. give up on them. We're going to keep them. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing changed out. Push in on that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Of course, it's about 35 degrees outside, you know, and it's kind of a little on the chilly side. Dump that guy out. Put in the ACP cylinder. Drop that guy in. Make sure you're. All right. Let's see. It's got keepers on it, so we'll should just kind of fall in there. That should go right on in there now. Let's see. There we go. All right, we're good. It's about six rounds of 45 ACP. Bear in mind, folks, this is brand new gun. You know, it's not much smooth and slick. What do we got here? 230 grain jacketed hollow point. Well, I just want some little lead spitballs to shoot out of it on the range without having to. All right, let's put some six in there. Now, 45 ACP head spaces on the mouth of the chamber. On the, you know, the, the head spacing is created by the point where the bullet goes into the cartridge case. Same way a 30 caliber carbine is, by the way. You just I foresee if you shut this shut this cylinder enough or used reloaded ammunition, you would get to where it might not go into headspace correctly. Hmm. Okay. Let's do the bottom set bottom of this cylinder. Let's do it on the bottom target and see if we do any better with 45 long or 45 ACP. Uh, for one shot, we're doing better with 45 ACP. Unload our piece here. Come on. There we go. Maybe I just keep. And it just fell out. Hammering on it, hammering on it, wouldn't come, and all of a sudden it just falls out. I don't like to lose 45 ACPs, 45 long colts, or 30 caliber car 30 caliber carbine shells. That and fell out. That and came out nicely. There we go. Alright, proof is in the pudding. Let's go down there and look at it. Alright, so I'm gonna get my cardio walking up down this damn range. Oh, seven yard target. 45 long colt was first. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five in there. That thing got enough holes in it. I can't tell where the rest of them went. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six in the 45 ACP barrel. Uh, one flyer and the rest of them are actually grouped up.
fairly good for a new gun. Uh, like I said, we shot it six times. When it come out of the box, me and Ed shot it six times. We shot it six times with the 45 ACP, six times with the 45 Colt. And then, so at this point, this gun's been fired a total of 24 rounds. So I think that this is fairly acceptable accuracy considering this is a brand new gun. It hasn't been burnished in yet. And, um, you know, it groups a little sloppy, just to tell you the truth. Um, it is alleged that I know how to shoot a revolver. This gun, at the point right now, shoots a little sloppy. Now, I'm not making any excuse for it. It may never get any better. But, with a loading change and some break-in period, I think this gun's going to shoot a whole lot better. So, that's this guy. To tell you the truth, the, the box looks better than the gun. <laughs> it's got a nice-looking box, doesn't it? But, now, I'm not going to give you the price point on this gun because it's a brand new gun. I know what I paid for it. But, um, it was a little spendy. But if this is what you love, it's worth it. All right, then. Uh, like, like, whew. the plan is to put a shed over this bench this summer and get us a wood stove in here for next winter. Uh, like, date, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, leave me no dollar in the Patreon box if you want to, and if you don't, I keep right on making content for you. Uh, be a good citizen. Be a good cheer. You know, we've had lousy leadership before. We've lived through it. Uh, God bless everyone. Join the NRA and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now.